Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I feel like my voice is kind of fading in and out, so you're just gonna have to bear with me here. But it's another day of foundation hunt week, and I've never tried any, I don't think I've tried any makeup product from this brand, only skincare, and because I'm just so excited to get all up in the inclusivity of this brand, let's just get right into it. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. This retails for $17 for one fluid ounce. This comes in 10 shades, and I have it in the last one, which is Chestnut 135. Let's see what you say here. <clears throat> this foundation moisturizes and plumps skin for 24 hours. It creates a natural, moisturized, and fresh look. Improves the suppleness of skin over time. Oil-free, non-comedogenic. Doesn't settle into fine lines. Available in 10 blendable shades. I'm not sure that's something that you should be, like, you know, boosting. Available in 10 shades. Like, there's 40, but, you know. It's just like every other day. I'm going to do one side with a brush first that's all the product that was with one pull out and I'm going to use a beauty blender today to blend the other side out Let me just go ahead and set my face. Alrighty then, so that is what it looks like on my face. It is currently 10.57, so I'm going to go about my day and then come back later so you can see how this held up on my face and get my thoughts on this foundation. Yes, foundation. Alrighty then, so I am back and it is 7.14 and this is what my face is looking like. Let's see, so it says this foundation moisturizes and plumps skin for 24 hours, creates a natural, moisturized, and fresh look. Uh, Oil-free, doesn't settle into fine lines, available in 10 blendable shades. Um, yeah, if you couldn't tell, my face looks pretty oily right now. I've had situations where my face not only looked oily, but you know, my face was breaking down. I feel like, you know, although I am pretty oily right now, um, it, it hasn't broken down, you know, it hasn't separated or anything like that. Um, it's not for my oily skin out there. Even the side that ha that I did set with powder is shot as far as oil control goes. And I really don't even feel like it's for dry skin, although it has a, uh, well, I'll get to the hydrating. Um, it's, it's not digging my dry patches. My fear for wondering if you you're new to my channel uh, my dry patches are around my nose and right above my eyebrows there and um, even before I left for the day like you can always tell because that part above my eyebrows if, if my dry patches aren't having it um, they'll never like really want to connect when I'm blending the foundation onto my face now I did feel some type of cooling hydration sense when I first applied this onto my face I don't feel it anymore um, what else did it say doesn't settle into fine lines, I don't know about all that, and um, has a natural finish. Honestly, from the seconds after I put this on my face, I didn't feel like it had a natural finish, I didn't feel like it had a satin finish, I didn't feel like it had a matte finish. I have felt for the most part that this was pretty greasy on my face. Maybe that's why, you know, the outcome is what it is right now, but I don't, that's just, that's the type of finish that I feel this had on my face. It just felt greasy seconds after I applied it onto my face. Before I forget, let me go ahead and insert that flash test right here. Um, is there anything else about this foundation? Yeah, I really just didn't feel like this foundation did a lot of what it claimed it would do. Um, really, I feel like this foundation is just for normal skin out there. I feel like I'm probably going to stick to Neutrogena skincare because I love their skincare products. Um, but yeah, on the on the foundation, that's a no for me, dog. So that is it for this video. I hope seeing this foundation on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped in your decision. If you wanted to try this foundation out for yourself, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Out of breath. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I'm kind of getting gray vibes from this, but how the hell do you open this? It kind of always amazes me when I put on a foundation that has like a, a dewy finish and then I bathe my face in powder and it's just like, ain't no do no mo. Although I feel like
but you can still see some shine. 